Hi, this is Cheryl, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to design your own patterns and um, create stained glass patterns and then transfer them over to the glass. So as you can see, I did my drawing and then I did a tracing. So this is trace paper and I outlined, uh, I traced over my design onto the paper, but, but when you're designing, you need to think glass. Um, you need to make sure that your design um, will work with cutting the glass. And we'll talk more about that later. So as you see, I have um, my, my tracing paper. I'm gonna rip it out of my tracing paper pad. And I'm going to put a piece of sh a sheet of white paper underneath it so you can see it better. Okay, so I have my tracing and I have my pieces all numbered and I have them color coded um, by letters and I have a Sharpie marker and I want to trace over my pattern design and um, I believe the, f the first pen I used was a little too <coughs> fine. So I went and I got a bigger Sharpie. So I have a bigger, it's called a fine point, but it's a little bit bigger than the one that I had before. So basically just going to trace over all of the pattern and um, make the design easy for a printer scanner to um, read it and print out a nice pattern sheet for me. So I'm going to speed this up at this point. So for all of my subscribers, I'm sorry, I'm apologizing for not getting any videos up recently because I just started a new job and it's taken some of my, a lot of my time and my artwork had to be put on the back burner. So as you see, I'm just tracing over my design. This is all on tracing paper. And I'm taking a finer marker and I'm just going over my numbers and my color codes. So as you can see here, I have my numbers and I did it by colors and my petals were all white and I numbered them one through whatever it is, 16 and they're all with a W at the end. Then I went on to the next color and I started numbering those in consecutive order. That's how I number my pieces. So moving forward, we have the two pieces and um, I have my foiling shears, which have a double-edged blade which cuts a little sliver in between and that allows for the foil between the glass. So the first thing I will do is cut out the entire outer perimeter of my piece with regular scissors. And these designs can be done just by using the sketch pad. You don't need any special software for this. Um, but you do need to think in terms of glass. Glass cut wants to cut in a straight line. So you need to be sure that your pieces are gonna be able to be cut reasonably easy. So you want your lines to say it um, they want to connect at the corners mostly you want to you want to make your your seams um, flow nicely and 
what I mean by seams is going to be the solder lines. And you don't want any like right angles, shapes um, of glass because it's hard to cut things at, an, at a sharp angle. So now I'm putting my pieces in color um, piles, like piles in according to color as I cut them. So now I'm using the foil shears and it cuts a small sliver of paper between the two pieces so it will allow for the foiling to be done. It, it gives you a little space between each glass piece. So now for, for me, the best thing that works for me is as I'm cutting, I take those little slivers out or I'll pull them off and it's easier to cut when you remove them. Now every once in a while you'll get a little edge that needs to be trimmed up with the regular scissors, but you can pretty much tell where it needs to go because the foiling shears leave a crease. So I work my way from the outside into the inside of the pattern and cut each piece out. So see, I took the little sliver of paper out. I, I pulled it off. See the space between the two pieces? We want that. So by pulling the little piece of paper that's in between them off as you cut, it makes it easier to cut. And as I go, I'm putting them into piles by color. to start um, speeding this up now. So here we go. We're zooming through this and getting through these um, quickly. If you have any questions about using the foiling shears, please give me a, a comment below and I'll answer your questions. Um, but it, it's just easier to keep pulling the little piece of paper, the little sliver of paper, out of the scissors and off of the pattern as you go. Just take your time and all my pieces are going into piles of, according to color. So all my pieces are 
all in color coordinated. And we'll be moving over to transferring the pattern over to the glass. Okay, so now I have my my grid for cutting, which catches all the little pieces of glass, so I don't cut myself. It also keeps it from um, causing the glass to break on shards of glass. Because when you try to cut glass, you need to make sure it's on a smooth surface. So I have all my little petals here and I'm going to I'm going to use my Sharpie marker and I'm going to trace around each piece and I'm going to number them. There is another way, a mother, another method that you can use. You can take a glue stick and glue each pattern piece to the glass. Um, I found that the pattern piece would come off on me when I was doing some grinding. So I just like this method better, but you can choose whichever method is best for you. You can glue them on and then do your grinding, or you can grind off all of the black line after you've cut. So you basically want to eliminate the black line so that your pattern, your, your pet, uh, petal piece, in this case, um, will fit correctly. Now when I lay out my pattern pieces, I like to conserve on my glass, because glass is expensive. So I try to get the most out of it, but you have to be careful with you know, laying them out. You need to make sure that you can make the cut. What I mean by that is you don't want your one as you're cutting one piece that may end up cutting into cutting across one of your other pieces because you didn't lay it out properly. And in this case, it's these petals are going to be just in one straight line. So I'm not going to run into that problem with this for this um, for this color. Also, you want to lay your pattern out on the smoothest side uh, for cutting purposes. And if the smoothest side happens to be the back side of the glass, you need to remember to flip your pattern piece upside down, like flip it over, because it's gonna be in reverse, obviously. So here, I'm just putting my petals in a row and I'm gonna just make one cut um, to cut all my petals off the big part the big sheet of glass and then I'll separate them as I cut them so we will fast forward through this also you want to make sure you number your pieces as you go because otherwise you'll get them all mixed up and you won't know where they fit on the pattern So zipping through this, you can see I'm going to just do one strip of glass. Okay, now we're going on to the centers of the um, daisies. As you can see, there's a textured side, which is the front side of the glass. And I'm going to cut my pieces on the back because it's smoother. It'll make it easier for um, me to cut the pieces out. So really, um, I flipped my pattern pieces over, as you can see. And really, I'm only going to need a tiny corner for these. Mark them out with my Sharpie marker.
make sure I number them. Use a little cutting oil and I'm just going to cut the two pieces out in the corner. Okay, now I have my background. And this is where you need to be careful with um, placing your pieces. Looking for the better side to cut. Now, this pad this glass is in has a direction to it, as you can see. The striations are going across the long way of the glass. And so on my pattern, I decide, determined where, which direction I wanted the striations to go. So I had to lay out my pattern pieces in that direction. Being mindful of conserving glass is the other thing too. Excuse me. The other thing that you need to be careful now, which I talked about before, is when you need to allow for uh, cutting the glass and not creating sharp angles or I'm trying to explain this. Um, glass always wants to cut in a straight line. So you need to allow for some space in between so that you can cut the pieces without interfering with the other pieces. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to cut these out. use the material the best way.
So I'm going to mark the other ones after I cut across the the sheet in between the pieces there. Like there. Yeah. And then I'll go right in between the two pattern pieces as you can see. And then I'll be able to cut the other pieces out and continue with placing my pattern. We will follow up in the next part about with cutting glass. So see part two. I'll go into more detail about cutting glass in the next video um, where we'll continue with cutting out the pieces for this um, daisy sun catcher. Um, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.